All right, so today we're doing the x-axis bearing replacement. So to start, we remove the band with the springs, just tape those springs and the other ones to the side. The bottom and the top where I'm pointing, that's the bearings. So to start, we have to take this bracket off that's holding on this circuit board. So we'll remove these top screws this one and then place it in this magnetic tray then we'll remove this side screw these ones are not magnetic but just put it in there anyway so it's as you can see it's still stuck we have one more screw right back there we'll do that All right, now we can lift that up and bring it off, but we have to take these wires off at the connector. So carefully pull this connector out and remember how it goes. Carefully pull this side connector out and remember how that goes. And then take this connector out of the motor and remember how that goes. And then carefully take this and stick it over to the side so it doesn't fall off, but it's out of your way. Now, we gotta get to these bearings. So we come up, we go around to the other side. And these two nuts, you need to undo, or at least get loose. And inside is an Allen key. Loosen those up, but do not remove them. This will loosen the belt. And now we come up to the belt and we need to release the belt from its bracket. These screws can strip easily, so be careful. It's nice to put a little pressure on them. I'm gonna pull these out. Undo your belt. Now it moves freely. And we will move back to the original side. All right, now that the belt's loose, we can loosen up these two top screws that hold the pulley in place on top of the bearings. Do not remove these, you just need to loosen. And then we'll go over and we'll loosen up the top screws on the x-axis motor. You do not need to remove these in this step. And then we'll release the tension screw. As you can see, you can slide the motor back and forth. Feed the belt through to give you some space. Release more tension if needed. And then you'll try to pop that pulley out. Sometimes it's helpful if you slide the band down the x-axis belt. Sometimes it takes a little work, but it should slide out. There you go. And that is out. Now, move over to the table. We need to get the bearings off of the top and the bottom. So you'll take two of the same size Allen wrench and keep a note of the direction of these bearings. All right, now we slide in each side and we twist and they should come loose. Make sure you keep these screws, make sure you have the washer don't lose those and then once again keep a note of the direction that the bearing is facing on each side And 
this is the pulley with no bearings. Now, time to put it back on. So, with the top, it's the bigger side. You want the frayed side up of the bearing. Put your screw in. other side, this is the bottom of the pulley, you want the frayed side up. So both frayed sides need to be facing up. Put your screw in. And then same as before, same size Allen wrench for each side. And then you can tighten by twisting against each other. And that is how you replace the bearings on the pulley. Now we come back in and we need to put the pulley back in its place. Feed it through the x-axis motor belt and through the x-axis belt. And you will slide that frayed edge under those washers and it should click into place. Now you want to slide that motor over and pull the belt up and then let go and tense it back up. And you can feed the belt back through. Now <clears throat> we need to retension the x-axis motor belt. So tighten the tensioner screw and measure. It needs to be about 0.43 inches from washer to washer. Check the tension, measure again. All right, now we need to tighten the x-axis motor screws. and then check your tension one more time. This part I almost forgot to tighten down the pulley screws as I correct myself right here. Now we need to tighten these screws and be careful you don't strip them. This is what holds the pulley down and in place. All right, now we can put this bracket back on. Put your screw in. That way it doesn't fall off. And now we gotta put in our top screws. that back in where it belongs and then go back down and you can see click that back in where it belongs and be very careful plugging these ones back in you don't want to bend those prongs on the x-axis motor all right we'll move to the other side now <clears throat> so over here you can see that this bracket is in our way
but it does move freely behind it. So we need to take off these top air compressor screws. And these screws are mounted through that plate, through those clips, through that plate, and into the Y-axis belt plate. So it, it, all of those need to be held in by those screws. All right, we got those out, huge pain in the butt. Put those in your magnetic tray. Get this air compressor hose out of your way. All right, and now as you can see, you can pull this out freely. Slide the belt through, give yourself some space. And just like the other side, there's the two top screws holding it in place. Loosen those, but do not remove. And then you will pop your pulley out. And you will replace these bearings the same way you did on the other side. All right, now we'll put it back in, up and through. Same as the other side, it should click in right under those washers with those screws. Tighten those screws down carefully. We don't want to strip them. Place it back and feed your belt through. Right now, to put this pain in the butt plate back on, I found it to be a lot easier if you put the screws through this metal or this plastic bracket and then place it through the metal bracket and then find your hole. This can be a pain in the butt, so just bear with me. Be careful not to hit these um, copper screws on this mirror here because it will put the machine out of focus. All right, we got those back in. Now we need to reattach our belt. You want this belt, the grooves, to go all the way to the last grooves of the metal on this huge cable. And you want to ha hold this belt to where it's at a good even from the bottom and the top. Now you will take your mounting piece, make sure that it's in this way. This is for the sensor. Find your screw. And be 
very careful when you're putting in, but you do want to put some pressure on it. This is why I always use this tool. It's a lot harder to strip it with this. Now you can move your hand freely. And much easier to get the top one. Now your belt is secured. We need to tighten it. So we'll go back with the Allen wrench into these holes and finger tighten these until you feel resistance. And as you can see here, it's starting to tighten up. Now to slightly adjust, you want to put it in and just slightly adjust a quarter turn at a time. Check your tension again. Looking better. Now, what we need to do is we want this to go up and down on this pulley as you slide the laser head. If it's not going up and down, make slight adjustments. As you can see, it's slightly moving up and down now. And Keith can help you with any other questions in this. Alright, so we got it in a good spot. Now we grab your wrench and tighten down these bolts. and that locks the tension into place. And just like that, you are done.